had a problem. With those words, the hopes of a third moon landing by the Apollo 13 mission ended. But the lives of three American astronauts and the hopes of the U.S. space program could have ended there too, but it didn't happen that way. Hi, I'm Samuel Snyder, and I'm from the Twin Mountains 4-H Club. And my speech today is entitled, Houston, We've Had a Problem, The Story of Apollo 13. I'm giving this speech as a part of my 4-H science and technology project with a focus on rocketry. I enjoy learning about rockets and wanted to give a speech about a famous U.S. rocket mission. The crew of Apollo 13 was Commander Jim Lovell, Command Module Pilot Jack Swigert, and Lunar Module Pilot Fred Hayes. Jack Swigert was a backup who replaced Ken Manningly just a week before launch because Manningly was, because Manningly was exposed to measles and it was not new. Even though he didn't go, Mr. Manningly became very important to the success, success of this mission. The launch happened on April 11, 1970. They had minor problems on the initial launch because the cinder engine on the Saturn rocket failed. However, they had enough engines, they had enough fuel in the other four engines to get into space. The crew thought this would be their only glitch. They were very wrong. Two days into a four-day trip to the moon, pilot Jack Squigert was instructed to stir the oxygen tanks. Seconds later, there was a big explosion that rocketed the spacecraft and set off lots of alarms. Commander Lovell called into mission control and stated the famous quote from the space journey. Houston, we've had a problem. The problems were many. They were losing oxygen. The fuel cells were damaged. And the main engine on the service module was seriously damaged. They would have to fly from the lunar landing module. After much discussion with mission control, news came that no one wanted to hear. They would not be landing on the moon. The whole mission changed from a moon landing to a rescue effort. The astronauts' lives were in danger. The astronauts were three days away from Earth, but only had two days of battery power left. To conserve power, they turned everything off, except communication to mission control. The news got worse. Carbon dioxide levels were high. They would die if carbon dioxide levels didn't go down. To fix it, they had to change the carbon dioxide filters, but the filters wouldn't fit because they were in the lunar module. And the only filters that would, and the only filters they had were, uh, would fit the command model. Mission Control talked them through an amazing fix using duct tape, plastic bags, and a box. The good news, it worked. They continued to fly towards Earth, but because power was off, they got very cold. Fred Hayes was sick and running a temperature of 104. The news got bad again. They were approaching Earth at the wrong angle. To fix it, they had to do a short engine burn without their computer. The good news, it worked. They can back on ground. Ken Manningly became very important to the success of this mission. The astronauts had to turn everything back on, but had very little battery power to do it. Ken Manningly had spent hours in the flight simulator trying to find a new method to power the spacecraft. After much trial and error, he succeeded and gave the astron astronauts. Instructions how to do it. As they entered the Earth's atmosphere, Mission Control knew they would be out of radio contact for four minutes. At the end of four eight minutes, Mission Control still did not hear from them. Everyone was worried. Another minute passed. Almost everyone had given up hope. Finally, 87 seconds later than expected, Mission Control heard from them. They had made it through reentry. Everyone was alive, and they were about to swash down in the South Pacific Ocean. An investigation occurred later, and it found that the stirring device in the in, for the oxygen tanks had an effective coil. It had been overlooked two years before they launched. In conclusion, they had lots of problems. A failed engine, an explosion, a canceled moon landing, carbon dioxide problems, and sickness, as well as many other problems. Still, these heroic astronauts made it. Ma NASA thought that their mission was a successful failure, but we did make it back to the moon four more times, the last time on Apollo 17 in 1972. No one has been on the moon since. Thank you.